Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tyler the Cosmic Spider here playing some more Destiny for you guys. This is an amazing game of control here on the map Bastion. It is on the planet Mars. Yes, a huge explanation for the beginning of the map, but this video guys is not dedicated solely to the gameplay. Yes, I will mention it because I do think it's a really good gameplay. I really enjoyed making this video. So with that said, I want to talk to you guys today about the things that I have found myself enjoying about Destiny. And then there are a few little quirks that I hope they will fix in future patches so with all of that said let's jump right into the list of things that I like and dislike about destiny all right make sure in the comments guys before I jump in sorry that you leave what you enjoy and what you don't enjoy about destiny because I would really like to know what everybody's opinion is of the game so with that said the first thing I want to talk about is the matchmaking I did for purposes of my own throw in like the loading screen of this match at the beginning of the game because I wanted you guys to see what matchmaking really is like here in destiny because uh, it is something I really enjoy you know typically your first person shooters they have like the same boring matchmaking system to where you're thrown in a lobby it's just a list of people and you're just sitting there waiting um, typically you find yourself sitting and that's it sometimes you might customize loadouts whatever check challenges check your kill to death ratio whatever the case may be but here in destiny even though it's a small thing i think it goes a long way uh the matchmaking is very quick which i enjoy uh, i'm not finding myself just sitting around waiting for 12 players to join typically when i click control i am put into a lobby with 12 people and we are set so the thing that I really do like about the matchmaking is the fact that it's not just a list. You're kind of floating around. There's visual stimulation of the game. So basically, you have all the spaceships and you know, you're flying around whatever planet, Mars, the moon, Earth, wherever. It doesn't really matter, but I just I find it very enjoyable to have that there. Um, and like I said, it's a small thing, but it goes a long way. So I hope to see that, you know, in more future games because with the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, you're supposed to have like the seamless integration of story and multiplayer. And it's kind of hard to do that when you have like a black screen in between each loading the different parts. Here in Destiny, it's no black screens, anything. You're just kind of loading, loading, loading. So it's good. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the integration of the story and the multiplayer because I've already kind of mentioned it. Let's go a little bit more in depth. Basically, if you guys don't know this, to play the multiplayer here in Destiny, you have to be level 5 on the multiplayer. Now, does that make sense? Of course it doesn't if you haven't played it because how could you possibly have to wait until you're level 5 to play it, right? Because you won't have a chance to level up. But you do because you level up your central character you have one character well, you can create more characters but let's say you have one character i'm a titan when i play the story mode and level up my story mode character i'm not leveling up just my story mode character i'm leveling up the character that i use in the story and the multiplayer everything so it's kind of exciting if you guys wanted to wait until you're like level 20 before you jumped into to the uh, crucible and tried to play some multiplayer stuff you could do that if you wanted to um, because when I was level 5 and I first jumped into the multiplayer, I was like, oh my gosh, these guys have such a huge advantage over me. They have so much better armor, they have such better weapons, but they don't because all that advantages are disabled when you're playing multiplayer. Um, now, it, it might just be that they do have a weapon that is more capable, such as a higher rate of fire and a little bit higher damage, but... What I'm saying is there are weapons on the multiplayer that are, I mean, on the story, sorry, that are like 300 damage. They're not going to do 300 damage on the multiplayer. It's going to do like 40, 30 damage, whatever the case may be. I don't really know. I don't own one. So I just wanted you guys to know that even though these people are like level 27, level 26, whatever, I'm only level 12 and I'm still freaking owning them okay i beasted this game i got over 25 percent of the total points needed to win that's pretty crazy for one person to do so that is something that i really enjoy is the integration of the story and multiplayer um another thing that i really enjoy which i didn't know i was going to was the fact that there's no public chat none and when i first heard that i was like wow it's gonna be kind of strange but uh honestly you don't need it because let's think about it when you are listening to people in other games like call of duty battlefield whatever when you are listening to people in the public chat what are they really bringing to the table nothing they're basically bitching playing music squeaking whatever the case may be i am so happy destiny decided not to implement a public chat system but do not fret 
Do not think, oh, well, that's stupid. Now I can't talk to my friends. You can. If you invite people into your fire squad, you can actually talk to them in-game. And plus, on top of that, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, X or PlayStation 4, sorry, they all have that cross-game chat already built into the system, so you could use that if you wanted to. Um, I heard the PS4 uses a lot of bandwidth, so it's probably not the best idea to use that, but you can. It's an option. Uh, the next thing is different maps for different game modes. Here in Control, the maps are huge, all right? That would not, these maps would not work for free-for-all. They would not work for the 3v3 team deathmatch. Just wouldn't. It'd be such a slow game, it'd be terrible. But Bungie has decided, hey, you know what? We're gonna make small maps that are only used for free-for-all and 3v3 team deathmatch. What freaking geniuses? Why are other people not using this idea? It's so amazing. I hate playing on a big map on free for all because it just takes forever. So I'm really happy that they decided to do small maps individually. You know, I, I'm just so happy with it. Okay, that's all it needs to be said. More people need to do it. All right. And then here on control, the kills points, the 110 points I just got for that kill, goes towards your score to win. On Call of Duty, um, you know, domination, basically, your score is determined by how many flags you're carrying at, a, at like a five second interval, I think. So, the fact that here in Destiny, if you don't necessarily always go capture flags all the time, you can still win if you're owning them in kills. Now, I think a flag capture is like 250 points or something, so it's quite a bit of points, so it is good to capture the flags. But I'm just saying, if you're not too good about capturing flags, the kills still count. That's what I like. I also like the minimap. The minimap is not too precise. If it's too precise, I find it very distracting. Here in Destiny, if you look in the top left, it's just kind of a general idea of where fire is coming from. So I really like that. Now onto the two things that I am not too fond of. One of them is there are really no weapon customization options. Uh, they do have a lot of weapons, but they're all kind of the same weapon. And on top of that, you know, all the customization options go are as far as like, I have a sight on that's more accurate, and I have an attachment that makes this gun shoot slower when I aim down my sights, but does more damage. That's all I've got, so <laughs> there's not a whole lot. And then the last thing is, it sometimes bugs after you get done sprinting. Like, I'm pretty sure you have unlimited sprint or something, but when you get done sprinting, it takes forever to get sprinting again. I find that very annoying. I hope they fix it. It's not a deal breaker. I still love the game. That's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys had anything in common with me, make sure to leave it down in the comments. Even if you didn't, let me know what you think of the game. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to subscribe if you want more Destiny gameplays. That's it. I love you guys. Talk to you guys later. Peace.